Alright, how's it going everyone? My name is Ellie Angry Nerd again, and uh, today we're back with some more uh, Wolf Among Us. This is part two. The opening of the first part of the Wolf Among Us episode four was fucking intense. Um, I'm really happy that this mic is working beautifully. Um, I'm surprised, like, from everything. Like, it's just, it's great. So, let's get into this video. And now we're back with some more. Walking, or not walking dead. Uh, we're back. We're back again with some more uh, Wolf Among Us. I really want them to make a season two of this game. So fucking bad. It's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. And they have like great like soundtracks and music for this. And I really hope like they keep Bigby alive, but they put him on like a different case or something. That's what I want season two to be about, but um, I don't know. You can't really, uh, yeah, you can't really uh, find or know what happens. But yeah, episode four, uh, in sheep's clothing, and uh, yeah, here's Narissa, and we're in my office. Hi. What's up, girl? Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. <laughs> I didn't beat up your boss. I couldn't do that. Have a seat. I um. Not are really. You okay. You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. You know, around. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm okay. fine. Don't worry about me. Got my ass handed to me, but I'm, I'm all right. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Well, Bigby does. Uh, let's be cool. Well, what brings you here, Narissa? So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. Yeah, I know, you know your that. rule. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Do it again. Maybe that'll work again. I need a win, man. I need a fucking win. You can try. I just... It was about the crooked Go man. Ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I Shit. guess not. <laughs> Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Uh, this is about Faith and Lily. Is this making any sense? Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? I look out for everyone. Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... Your lips are sealed. But... 
But your lips are sealed. I know you wanna. I know you want me to help you. That's okay. I'm sorry. You don't, you don't I really got mind. nothing else to do. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm. Do you? It's it's a tool of control. How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? I might be on to something. Can't we just take the ribbon off? I knew it, the fucking no. thing. Lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow no, down. I'm not going to do anything. All right. Chill out. Chill out. I'm not going to do anything. Please. Don't. So, it is the ribbon. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably snow. Listen, yeah, what's up? Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be okay. in a lot of Yeah, you trouble. might get your fucking head lopped off, you. so don't, don't worry. worry. This will be between Thank us. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. Oh, like a nice black outfit. It looks good. I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you Fucking about something. Beast, that piece of shit. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. She just gave me another clue. That was... abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean Look to Look at the camera. Her. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry. I handled it. She couldn't talk because of the magic, but we managed to understand each other. I did my job. My way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? Because you have given me reason to doubt you. Snow, Surely trust me, okay? And the past few days have been... <sighs> trying. You have to trust me, Snow. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay, then. Like, what do you Good fucking work. people want from me? Christ. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Probably. Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're... Beauty got Scared a loan. About what's been going on. Beauty told me she had to I take out a loan from the crooked I don't want to do that, but I don't want to get the other girl in trouble. Because you know what happened to the other two? They both fucking died. Jesus Christ, the other two died. And... We need to solve this before something else happens. Fuck, hard decisions, you know man. Hard fucking decisions. I have other matters to attend to. I'll be civil. And once upon a time, got a achievement for doing that.
And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep yeah. that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's knock, knock. Hey, fuckface. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around you knocking called, on baggage. doors? Stirring the pot? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call Ooh. you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm you still the bad guy You tried to this. kiss my ass. I've had to hear about it all night Shut long up. from her. Who is it? Step aside. There. Beast. Look, I'm coming in, so, uh... Let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? Oh, I was gonna... It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look around. Probably have, like, minimal time to do this. Hmm. I really do have the small yeah, you do. In the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? <laughs> to bring him into this. Beast. Oh, fuck off. Fuck you, beast. You fucking cocksucker. And then Don't you don't trust me. Asked. Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Mm. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I will go on him back. Have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this. Yeah, she has such a. They have such a nice apartment. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Yeah, they have a really nice house. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with what centuries asshole. of baggage. I gotta say, mm, the place just it looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. It's nice, what that's all. What are you all. trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks. But I tried changing the conversation, but I can Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why I want to help. Like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like being an help. asshole doesn't fucking help do anything people. If you don't tell me what's going on. I enjoy helping. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all won't this come comes back, back on, on you. Us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man, and I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't I'll, give us I'll protect you. assurances, we're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, oh, okay? Rich we couldn't people. just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's no not shit. a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... So they got alone because they wanted to live fancy. That's real douchebag. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. 
Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> hey, And we're we not can't done come yet. to the phone I right should... now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. care about is how can I find the crooked man who do I talk to where do I go the lucky pawn okay. that's where I borrowed the lucky money pawn. the crooked man's behind that place I'd overheard people talking the to Jersey, fuck is about Jersey? Before. so when I needed money wait who do you deal with Jersey. Oh, yeah, the Jersey oh, the Devil. Jersey Devil. He's oh, yeah. in here too. That's that's, that's like great. Brick. Damn. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out, probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly, it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. Oh, wow. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. There goes axe. Sometimes, man. fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Y you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town. But Fuck, never to the man in himself. Fucker's pocket. Everybody is. The same place. Am I the oh, only man God. who's fucking? How did Am you I the get only man who's not? Johan the butcher. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're thought. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Fuck off. Bigby. Fuck off. There are a lot of fans yeah, who have it a lot worse asshole. off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? Fucking if asshole. this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. 
Like, what a piece of shit. It's like all these people are like, uh... You know that butcher shop, the Katama? The Lucky Pong. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. The Lucky Pawn. That's... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. Mm. God, I don't you know You know that pick. butcher shop, the cut above? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Ah, uh, shit, I didn't mean to do that either. Um... The Crooked Man's behind that. Uh, yeah, it, this is really hard to choose. Um... Uh... But what I was gonna say anyways, is, holy shit, everybody is in this asshole's pocket. It's like, who isn't? Like, maybe Snow is. Colin isn't, because he doesn't do jack shit except lay his ass on my fucking couch. So, fuck, man. Everybody's in this dick's pocket. But whatever, um... I kinda wanna... Crooked man's behind that place. Uh, I'm no gonna do the lucky pawn. The thing is, I'm going to the lucky pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us What do you out? mean by help you out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you I'll help handle us it. out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh. Thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. <sighs> Trying to make friends here. It's really hard. That bloody married motherfucker, I gotta take care of her, and I gotta take care of all these people. <sighs> like, I'm trying to, like, take care of, like, all my friends here, and it's really hard, but, like, the bloody Mary and, um, other people are, like, it seems like to do that. I, I gotta, like, help out everyone except for those people. Because those people fucking tried to kill me, and they almost succeeded. Sorry. There's... Oh, great. Uh, beer back for one minute.